Skip Hicks is the man that would run it too. He's the lone setback, and he'll get the call. Fumble! And Arizona State's got it, I believe. Unbelievable stuff. ASU right there living a charmed life because nobody laid a hand on Hicks. Once again, the prognosticator is right. Billy, they're going to need more points, and I was wrong. Right here, it's a stretch play. Just stretching the defense. Cade goes as far as he can, and he hits the elbow pad of Skip Hicks, and Sparky recovers. Everything we expected. Now Jake the Snake Plumber leads his team out. First play on the ground, not much. J.R. Redmond. They carry down to about the 15-yard line where Dan Juan McGee has it. Now, Skip Hicks just went out a moment ago being administered to. However, the way he wobbled or tried to wobble to his feet leads me to believe for safety reasons and for the young man's health, there's no way he's coming back in. Second and 10. He wants to throw. Back to Plummer. He's open. Got it at the 10. The snake looking for the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona State. a great runner watch him dive over and get the ball the kick is good and the sun devils have battled back just like they did last year and they lead the bruins 35 34 with 6 33 remaining and you don't think these guys have some confidence redmond to the quarterback and the stake does just that into the end zone and the lead. Don't go away.